everyone. Welcome to weather. Well, it's a windy scene across the region. Currently, tropical storm force winds and rough seas exist over the southwestern Caribbean Sea. And the Meteorological Service of Jamaica warns fisherfolk about dangerous sea conditions near Jamaica. Meanwhile, local fisherfolk face moderate seas. So looking over the southwest Caribbean, currently a gale warning offshore northwest Colombia continues tonight through Thursday. And also strong winds and large waves stretch northwards just south of Jamaica. And as you can see on the synoptic chart, this these strong northeast east winds over the central Caribbean Sea result from a tight pressure gradient between a high over the central Atlantic and a low over Colombia. Now winds are pulsing to tropical storm force 150 kilometers offshore the northwestern coast of Colombia. Seen here colored green winds peaking near 65 kilometers per hour are likely during the nighttime and early morning hours and possibly persist through Thursday night. So under the strongest winds Wednesday and Thursday, rough seas ranging 4 to 5 meters are expected over the southwest Caribbean Sea on Wednesday. Meanwhile, moderate to rough seas just east of the Les Antilles can be expected through Friday. Now checking swell direction, we see an easterly swell across the Caribbean Sea, including around Trinidad and Tobago. In the Atlantic, meanwhile, the swell remains from northeasterly. Meanwhile, you can see on the satellite imagery the line of cloudiness causing showers across the Lesser Antilles. So looking across the Eastern Caribbean Sea, there is a sheer line moving southwards midweek across the southern leewards and the northern windwards. So cloudiness and showers will eventually reach Trinidad and Tobago by Friday. Turning closer to home now, today's high at Piaco was 30.6 degrees Celsius and right now it's at 29. Meanwhile, Crown Point was 30.7 degrees Celsius earlier today and this evening it's now at 29 as well. So later on tonight in Tobago, you can expect a clear night with one or two brisk showers with a low at 25 degrees Celsius at Crown Point. For those in Trinidad, however, lower nighttime temperatures are likely in valleys of the northern range and the central hills. Meanwhile, at Piaco, expect a minimum of 24 degrees Celsius. So looking at Thursday, there's little change anticipated, predominantly sunny and breezy, with one or two brisk showers in a few areas. In Tobago, temperature-wise, expect a maximum 31 degrees Celsius to feel like 34. And in Trinidad, meanwhile, expect a maximum 32 degrees Celsius, but that will feel like 35, factor in humidity. Now in your outlook, cloudiness and showers associated with the shear line will affect us during Friday. So on Friday, look for a few morning showers to give way to sunny and breezy, a sunny and breezy Friday afternoon. So the odd shower may become heavy over Tobago and northern areas of Trinidad on Friday. Now despite this rainfall, farmers may still need to irrigate fields later on this week. And fisher folk, meanwhile, can expect strong winds to turn Atlantic waters occasionally choppy. Closer to shore, Caribbean waters remain moderate with waves from 2 to 2.5 meters offshore and near 1 meter in sheltered bays. Your high tides will be at 9.43 a.m. and 10.27 p.m. with low tides at 3.13 a.m. and 4.14 p.m. So to end now, during the next two weeks, forecasters expect low to moderate amounts of rainfall. So farmers need to irrigate fields and the rest of us need to conserve water. Back to you, Keisha.